Okay, you guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a time-lapse video using video footage from the Beast 2 dash camera. We are going to be using a free video editor that you can download right now onto your computer in order to do all of the editing. This free video editor is called DaVinci Resolve. It is a product of Blackmagic Design. It is a very powerful video editing suite, and I was able to create a time-lapse video using it. Of course, you can do way more video editing than just simple time-lapse videos. So I do encourage you to explore it further on your own because it is tons of fun being your own video director and content creator. I will put a link down below in the description box so that you can download the DaVinci Resolve software yourself. And I will also put a link to the Beats 2 dash camera in case you want to pick one of those up from us here at What A Deal. Now before we even begin, we need to get some video footage from the road. So you're going to want to copy all of the sequential video files from the micro SD card in your Beast 2 onto your computer's hard drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and run DaVinci Resolve on my Windows 10 laptop and let's jump right in. Alright, the first thing we're going to do when uh, DaVinci Resolve opens is we're going to start a new project. So left click on new project. I'm going to call this Beast 2 Time Lapse. Just like that. And create. And here's the DaVinci Resolve editing window. Don't let it intimidate you. It's really easy to use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import some clips. So we're going to right click on this. We're going to go import media. And there's our three clips that we already copied to our hard drive. We're going to go select each one by control clicking. We're going to go open. Now it's going to get a warning and it says the clips have a different frame rate than the current project settings. Just click change. All that means is, is that the timeline settings in here were different than the clip settings. So we just want to normalize those. So just click change. Okay, now once the clips are into the uh, project window here, we're going to left click and we're going to drag on each one of these down to the timeline. And you can see right here, you see how it snaps right there. Okay, so we've got the, this is the video up here and this is the audio track for that one clip. Now you'll notice something called Timeline 1, which was created. Just ignore that. If, when you want to get into this program, go ahead. For now, Timeline 1, that relates to anything that you have down here. Anything you add down here will be added to Timeline 1. Now we're going to go ahead and zoom out here in our timeline so that we can see our whole timeline here. And that has the effect of shrinking this clip up. It makes it look like it was shrunk. Okay, so now we're going to grab the next clip. I'm going to drag it over. Again, these are all three minute clips. If you accidentally mess up, you put it in the wrong spot, you can left click and then hit the right mouse button and then select ripple delete and that'll delete the space in between. Okay, now let's grab the third clip and bring it over. Okay, otherwise you can snap. You don't want to put it up here. You want to put it on the same track. So you can snap. See how they snap together like little Legos? Okay, now, the first thing I'm noticing here is that my clips are in the wrong order. I don't know how I did that, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So this looks like the middle clip right here. And this one looks like the end clip. And this one looks like the beginning clip. So what we need to do is we need to move these two clips on the other side. So I just selected those. Just select them by draw, drawing a box around them. We're going to left click. And then we're going to just drag this whole enchilada over and you can just snap it just like that. Okay, again, let's ripple delete. Left click, right click, and then left click, ripple delete. All right. Now, we've got three clips in here. Each of them are three minutes long. And over here, you can see that it's nine minutes and three seconds long. This one over here, this one hour mark, don't worry about that. That's for advanced editing stuff. They, uh, they start at one hour for a specific reason. I'm not going to get into that. For right now, you have to know that the video as it is is nine minutes and three seconds long. From the beginning here all the way to here is nine minutes and three seconds. Now, we don't want our clip to be nine minutes and three seconds long because that'll be a very long clip to watch. And also, I also want to splice. I want to cut off some of the beginning and I want to cut off some of the end. So let's go ahead and do that now. So at the very beginning, Let's go ahead and zoom up here a little bit so we can have that whole clip right here in our window. Okay, in the very beginning, I want the clip to start right about when she reaches the bridge. So let's scrub. This is called scrubbing. Let's scrub up here and right about here, right, right as the light turns green, right there. That's where I want it to start. 
So I want to cut right here. Now an easy way to do that is to go up to the timeline here and then go down here where it says razor. Okay, so you can razor it by selecting that. You can also use control B, but watch what happens when I select razor. Boom. You see how it put a little slice right there? It actually cut that clip. So let's go ahead and select this part that we don't want and let's go ahead and right click on that and just go cut. Boom. Okay, that removed that. Now let's go ahead and do our ripple delete here. Okay, left click and then if we right click, we can select ripple delete and that deletes that space right there. Okay, so that moves everything over for you and also moves all these sequences, all these clips over as well. Okay, now that's the beginning of our video. At the end of our video, I don't want it to play all the way out to the end. I actually want it to play out. Let's grab our playhead here. And I want it to end right as she passes this truck. Whoops, went too far. Let me back up. You can hit reverse play. Boom, right there. So right as she passes this truck, boom. That's, that's right about where I want my clip to stop. So again, the playhead uh, marker is right where I want the clip to end. So let's just hit control B. Boom, and see how that snips it right there, just like a little pair of scissors. Okay, and then we're gonna select this part of it, and I'm just gonna hit the delete key on my keyboard. Delete, okay, and that deletes that other that piece right there. Now the next thing that we have to do, we're almost done here, we're almost done. The next thing we have to do is we haven't speeded these up yet. So if we play this, this video from the beginning until the end, it's gonna be five minutes and 15 seconds long and some change. So, but again, we don't wanna have a five minute long clip. We wanna have a clip that lasts, say for example, 20 seconds. Let's just use that. It's a nice even number. So how do we figure out how much to shrink each one of these clips? It's easy. First of all, we have to figure out how many seconds this is. How many seconds is it? Well, it's five minutes and 15 seconds. So how many seconds are in five minutes? Let's open our calculator. Calculator. Okay, in five minutes, there are 60 seconds in each minute. So there's 300 seconds in five minutes, okay? 300 seconds in five minutes, and then we have to add the 15 also. So 300 plus 15, and that gives us 315 seconds. This clip is 315 seconds long. However, we want, it, we want this clip to play out in 20 seconds. So all we have to do is divide 315 by 20. And that gives us 15.75. Now without explaining why here, I'm just gonna tell you that what we need to do is we need to increase the speed of each one of our clips by 1,575%. Okay, just take the decimal away. 1,575%. Remember that number. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab one of our clips here. Let's just, let's just start with the middle clip. So we're gonna left click to select it, and then we're gonna right click. Now up here, there's something called change clip speed. That's what we want. So we're gonna left click on change clip speed, and then up in the speed, now you can do one of two ways. You can left click and then drag back and forth like this. I'm dragging back and forth with my mouse. Or you can just click in there and you can type it in. So let's just type it in. It was 1575, right? Yeah, 1575%, okay? So let's go back up to change clip speed. 1575%, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and click change. Now you see what that did? Do you see how it went? and it sucked it up right there. It took that clip right there and it and it made it, it shrunk it. So now it, it's gonna play really fast. It's gonna play really fast because it's really short, okay? Now let's go ahead and do that same thing on the first one. It doesn't really matter which order we do these in. We're just gonna do these one at a time. Let's, go, let's grab the first one. Right click, change clip speed. And again, up here in speed, we're gonna go 1575 and then click change. Let's just click change, and there it is. Now it's shrunk it up. Now we're gonna manually ripple the sequence. So we left click, and then right click, and then select ripple delete. Boom, and it goes just like that. Now, let me tell you something. I found out through working with this program for a minute, I found out that we can't do the, that same, we can't do it the same way with this last clip. 
for some reason when I cut off the end over here if you try to go in here let me just show you real quick what happens if I go change clip speed and I go 1575 and I go change watch really carefully what happens okay let's zoom up on it I'm gonna undo what I did there because I'm telling you it's not gonna work everything's fine but then when you get all the way to the end see that Penske truck watch we pass it right there now wait a minute we wanted this thing cut right here but for some reason when, when you go in here and you go right click and you go change clip speed that way that's what it does so we're gonna do this now now one thing you could do is you could snip it right there but let's just we're gonna do this last clip a different way okay so let's go ahead and edit let's undo okay we just undid we undid that uh, that change speed thing I'm gonna show you a different way that you can change the speed on a clip again we want to change it by uh, 1575 percent here's the other way and this is what you have to do with your last clip and any other clips that it does this to right click and then open the retime controls okay left click on that and watch what happens you see how it puts a little uh, speed change up here it gives you a speed change right here we're showing a hundred percent because we haven't changed the speed at all and what you have to do is you have to go over to the edge over here the edge over here of, of the, uh, the the clip and you see how it's a uh, it's brackets we don't want brackets you need to move up until it turns to that thingy until it turns to the double headed arrow double headed arrow now we left click and we drag this thing now watch the percent see how the percent change goes up it's up to almost 200 percent it's up to 300 percent can't see anymore so we're gonna zoom up okay now we're gonna go up here we're gonna we're gonna just adjust a little bit more you see where it says 16 or 1575 and we can't get it exact that's okay 1572 it's fine that's way close enough no one is ever 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 gonna notice that difference that discrepancy okay so now let's go ahead and well first let's go ahead and close Let's go ahead and close this speed change box right here. So we're going to right click on this and then we're going to unselect retime controls. Okay, that just makes it disappear. That way it's just out of the way. Okay, now we've got a big old gap right here. So we're going to left click in the blank area, right click, and then ripple delete. And that, that sucks it all up together. And there we go. Now look what we've got here. Let's zoom up. We've got our video sequence and look at the time. Well, we did that perfectly. Look at how much... Can you guys spot it before I point it out? Look at how much time. Here's our here's our playhead marker. It's the very end of our video. This is our sped up video sequence, and it's at exactly 20 seconds, exactly the way we wanted it. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, so that's how you do that. So if you had a bunch of clips, if you had like 15 of these clips, you'd have to do just right click on each one in the center and go change clip speed and put in the percent on each one. And then the very end one, you have to actually manually drag to uh, to speed it up, okay? So now we've got our clip. It's 20 seconds. It's almost ready to render. However, let's do one more thing here. Listen to the clip when you play it. It's not going to sound really good with sped up audio. So what we're going to do, we're going to do one more step here just to touch up our video. We've got a time lapse video of uh, about five, five, a little over five minutes of driving. We've compressed it down to 20 seconds. And now we've got this audio track down here, which is gonna sound really kind of crappy, you know, when we play it back at full speed. So let's go ahead and mute that. We're gonna mute it. So now this audio track will not show up in the rendering. And let's add some music. Right click, import media. And I've already got some selected, you guys. I already had this ready for you over in downloads it's called live the moment it's royalty free I downloaded it off the internet let's go ahead and open that and it appears right down here you see how it appears different it appears as an audio track but let's go ahead and just left click grab it and we're gonna add it to the audio now you notice you can't add it up here to the top because that's not a video track it's audio only and we don't want to put it right here because we want to leave one even, even though we're not going to use that original audio I don't want to mess with it because maybe I do want to you know do something with that audio later so let's go ahead and go like that and we're gonna move this clip over I'm just left clicking and I'm dragging until it goes over to the to the very end okay now when we play our video clip 
And again, it's going to sound really crappy, you guys, because we have to render it first because the, the, the processor can't keep up. Okay, so one last thing. I swear this is almost almost the last thing. We've got a bunch of audio here that we don't want to render because otherwise we'll end up with a video that has a bunch of blank in it. So we want to snip this audio track down. Uh, one way you can do it really quick. Let's just use the razor. Left click to select and then control B. Boom. We snipped off that end. Okay. Now we're going to select just this piece right here. We're going to click delete and that removes that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and save our project. Save. That way we don't lose any of our work. I should have been saving this all along, but I kind of forgot in the excitement of the moment. Okay, you guys, our clip is now ready to be rendered or exported or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so in order to render our new video, as we go over to Workspace, we left click on Workspace, and we change our primary workspace. Right now we're on Edit. We're going to change our primary workspace to Deliver. So we're going to left click on Deliver. All we got to do is change these two things and then click this button and that button and we're done you guys. So bear with me here. Okay, so file name, we're going to we're going to create a file name. We're just going to call this. We're just going to call it final uh 01. It's going to call it final 01. That's a good name for it. Location, we're going to click down here and then we're going to go browse and we're going to go to this PC. I'm going to save it on my C drive where everything else is right here and I'm gonna put it right in this area right here okay it's gonna be saved as final one uh, dot move which is a movie file okay we click save and we're gonna add it to the render queue by clicking this button and that puts it up right here and then we start render and that's it now we just gotta sit back and wait for our file to uh, finish rendering and as you can see down in the bottom you can see the uh, the uh, the playhead is going to be moving along right down here as it renders the final video. It's going to take uh, about two minutes. Up here you can see how, many, how much time is remaining and you can see the percentage of what it's got done and you can see a bar right here uh, showing the render progress. So This is great. I'll get back to you in just a minute after this thing's done rendering. Okay, and now it's totally finished, so let's go check our video out. Go over to File Explorer, Beast 2 Dash Camera, and there is our final render right here. Now before I click play here, if you guys like this video, go ahead and click the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you really don't want to miss any of our new uploads, click the bell icon. That way you get notifications every time I do an upload. Now let's play this video and I'll see you next time.